Jesus and his disciples were going to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. They needed some place to eat the Passover supper. Jesus called two of his disciples, Go into the city of Jerusalem. There you shall see a man carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. He will go into a house. Tell the owner of the house to show you a room where I can eat the Passover supper with my disciples. He will show you a large upstairs room. There you can get everything ready for us. The two disciples obeyed. They found everything just as Jesus said. The owner of the house took the disciples to an upstairs room. In the room was a long table. That night, when Jesus and the other disciples came to the room, everything was ready. Nearby was a pitcher of water, a pan, and towels. The disciples were glad to see the water and towels. Since they wore sandals, their feet were dusty from the long walk and needed to be washed. Who would wash their feet? This was to be a special supper, and there should be a servant to wash their feet. Had the two disciples forgotten to find someone? The disciples looked at each other. Should one of them wash the other's feet? Should one of them do the work of a servant? How wonderful it would have been if one of them had said, Jesus, let me wash yours and everybody's feet. But no one offered to help. They were too proud. They wanted to feel important. Jesus knew what his disciples were thinking. He was sad that Satan had put wrong thoughts in their hearts. Since there was no one to wash their feet, everyone sat down to eat supper. Then Jesus did something that surprised everyone. He stood up and laid his robe on a bench. He took the pitcher and poured some water into the pan. Jesus went around and washed all the disciples' feet. He washed Judas' feet, even when he knew Judas was going to betray him. He loved Judas and wanted to save him. By doing the work of a servant and washing each of the disciples' feet, Jesus was telling them that they should be willing to serve one another. They shouldn't be thinking of themselves and their own importance. Jesus took some bread and broke it, saying, Take this and eat. It is my body broken for you. Do this in memory of me. Then Jesus took the cup and blessed it and said to them, Drink all of it, for this is my blood which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. I will not be with you much longer, so I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Where are you going? the disciples asked. Jesus replied, In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and take you there, so that you can always be with me where I am. This eating of the bread and drinking of the cup is called the Last Supper. It is a special time to remember that Jesus died for us, a time to remember he is coming again. After the supper, Jesus and the disciples sang a hymn, and they went out to the Mount of Olives to pray.